Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For Saturday, the last day of the fifth week of Apostles' Tide. Tomorrow, Sunday, the sixth Sunday of Apostles' Tide, seventh Sunday of Pentecost, or Sunday after Pentecost. We will have divine service. We will hear of God, well, we will hear of Jesus in Mark, the seventh chapter. The feeding of the 5,000 is what we understand and remember. We remember the fish and the loaves of bread. We remember the hungry people. We remember the confused apostles. We remember that even the confused apostles received 12 basketfuls of food. It's testimony to what had just happened. But what we may miss is a simple word at the beginning of that narrative where Jesus says, I have compassion on them. I have compassion on them. Why would he have compassion on just people? Why would a perfect God love people like you and me? And yet he does. The mystery of the feeding of the 5,000 is not just the multiplication of bread and fish. The real mystery is God's love for you and me. You are invited tomorrow. Come 9 a.m., the doors will be open. Come and sing God's praises. Come receive his gifts. Come understand that he is compassionate meaning he has feelings for you. Know that you're welcome. But for now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom, teach us to pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, you granted your prophet strength to resist the temptations of the devil and courage to proclaim repentance. Give us pure hearts and minds to follow your Son faithfully, even into suffering and death. The same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. That your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Again, remember tomorrow, Sunday morning, 9 a.m., you are welcome to come and worship with us. It will be great to see you then. You have a good night. <laughs>